guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be setting up my fall bucket list and I thought I would go ahead and film my process so you guys could see it. I have done a seasonal bucket list before. I did one over the summer and one of the things that I realized was that I had just, I had put too many things on uh, the list that you know, really it wasn't realistic for me to actually get all of those things done. So I have decided to narrow down and I went through some of the things that I really wanted to do and I just did a quick running list of the things that I wanted to put on here and I also have the date that it officially turns to winter so that I know when my end date for this bucket list is. I've also got a couple of stickers. So Jay Kreis sent me these lovely stickers from her shop and I thought that they would be a fun thing to incorporate on my spread. Finally, I've also picked out the colors that I would like to use. So I have three different Tombow colors that I think I might try and incorporate. So I've got 228, 992, and 912, so kind of fall theme. I've also got my two copper bronze pens. So I've got the Faber-Castell in copper and the Uniball Signo in bronze. Finally, I have two thin black um, brush pens so that I can do the header and all that kind of fun stuff. So I have a Pentel Touch and I have the Fudenosuke. And I've got my gray Statler Tri Plus Fine Liner just in case, because I just like using this for finer stuff. And actually, off screen, I also have my Microns. So let's get started. Oops, so I actually, as I was going through, I made a list. I went through and I said, okay, I wanted to do my fall bucket list on page 93, so. Page 93, you'll see I have this week, I have a <laughs> random little collection I did. I have enough for the end of the week, and then I had left space to do, um, to have two free pages, so one full spread, which I'm actually going to do two separate collections on here, but I'm gonna do the fall bucket list first. All right, so first up, I need my blotting paper, because you never know. And what I'll go ahead and do is I'm going to time lapse you guys and I'll come back at the end and see how everything went. Thank you. 
kind of a quick spread. I wanted to have some doodles like I did with my summer um, my summer bucket list, but I also, because I knew I wanted to use stickers, I wanted to have it be not too, not too crazy. So I did a really simple header, so just fall bucket list. I have today's date, so October 25th, and the end date, so December 21st, so that when I go through, I'm going, I'll know how long this particular um, spread was, or how long this particular uh, bucket list was destined to be for. And then I just have my, these, instead of doing um, check boxes, I decided to just do a little swatch of Tombow color. So I used the three colors that I had chosen for this particular spread. And so when I'm finished with, uh, with each item, I will go ahead and check it off here. I've got a little bit of room around each one so that I can write in the date that I actually finish. And then I did some kind of a little doodle to uh, represent what I was working on. So what I've got on here is, I want to read all the light you, we cannot see, I want to visit Paris, I want to work on my memoir, and I actually have sub um, tasks for this one. So I want to do the plan, so like the, the outline, my introduction, and to write five pages. And that might seem like not very much, however, I tend to be a massive procrastinator, so I wanted to keep it kind of a smaller goal so that it would feel a little bit more attainable. So once I finish all three of these, then I can check off the main box for this, which is why I had my little um, title over here, even though I know what, uh, what that represents. I have that I would like to save 800 euros from now until the end, or now until this time in December. And I would like to read my 15th book in French because that's the last thing I need, the last like mini challenge that I have in my uh, reading challenge for 2017 that I haven't quite finished. I also have a secret task that um, is something kind of for you guys that I don't want to announce yet. So I just did a little exclamation point thing here and then off camera, I'll go ahead and fill that in. And finally, I have my task bar. So like I did in my 101 goals in 1001 days, I decided to go through so that I could see kind of my overall um, progress as I complete things off of this list. So that is what I've got on here. I thought it was pretty reasonable. I only have eight things and like these are sub goals, you know, and there are things that there are things that both I really need to do, things I want to do, and things I should do. So I think it's a nice mix of things that I would really like to focus on uh, up until it turns to winter, which, you know, once, if I don't finish these by the time, you know, it's the 21st of de December, then there are things that I still would like to do and still would need to do, but I would just like to try and get them done during this time period to feel more productive. And of course, at the very end, um, I put in all of my different little fall stickers, which I thought was a cute way to make it a little bit more fall-like since I didn't do a lot of super fancy lettering or anything on here. So these stickers are actually from Jay Kreis, and she has an, Eps an Etsy shop, which I will go ahead and link down below, but she has these really adorable, I love the fall stickers especially, like they're all really pretty, but I just love the leaves on the fall sticker one. So I just did that during uh, to fill up a little bit of the blank space. So yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and or subscribing to my channel to see more videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.